Al Ref Yamim, the R A Hub, Yeshua T. Kimber, yeah. He's more like David. You can maybe it's better on the ground. On the ground. If you're okay there, you can move up a little bit if it's you know, comfortable, wherever it's comfortable for him. Okay? Is that okay? Barb, you alright? He's more the David. Okay, gentlemen. He's more the David. I deny. So we know it's Zarb. He said that's a yard be saying. Our main in a foot on laning a she is a vegan tenny, but my late set a clamanchamo. Some key left, the gates of Mavet, Loi Rara, Kiatai Madi. Shiftecha, Mishantecha, Hema Yenachomuni, Tarok Lefanai, Shoka Neged, Selerai. Mishanta, the Shemen Roshi, Kasi Revaya, Tov, the Chesed Yurtuni, Koyme Chayai, the Shakti, the Vait Adonai, Liorech Yamin. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures, and he leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul, and he guides me in straight paths for his namesake. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou hast anointed my head with oil, and my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. I, um, I didn't have the pleasure of really knowing your mom before we met on occasion. Um, where you're, where you're love boy. How long were you married? 64 years. 64 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's, hard to, it's hard to believe. <laughs> How old were you when you got married? She was what, 12, 13? <laughs> <laughs> well, Yasha Koach, as we say, good job well done um, to produce such a nice family and, and, and uh, grandchildren. Um, I appreciate being given some notes, okay, and I'll, I'll do my best. The thing I like best, I have to say, anybody who changes their name to Skippy, yeah. okay, and the story, which I'll, I'll share... To me, is a, it's a wonderful story which probably speaks more about her than anything else. So we'll get to that in a minute. In no particular order here to some of the things that, that uh, her family recalls. That uh, how much she loved orchids, right? And gardening. She do a lot of gardening around the house. And, and uh, she passed that, that love to her children. Um, tradition of rugelach and banana cakes. <laughs> so not only was she, not only did she care about life, you know, the flowers around her and God's creation, but she cared about the life of the living around her by providing them with sustenance. I mean, when I read this, I, I had to, I got hungry for rugelach. I haven't gotten that taste out of my mouth. <laughs> Always creating, the, the, trying the latest desserts. Um, but I would hear to your chagrin, she she gave them away. <laughs> you made a good team. She made the desserts. You ate them. <laughs> um, at the end of her life, she, she was a woman of strength and dignity, really an anxious type, a woman of valor, as we say. And uh, I guess, again, I don't know the details.
Charles, but she, she was uh, faced things bravely. Um, there was never a yard sale that she wanted to miss. <laughs> Every Saturday morning on the way to school, they would stop at the yard sale. She didn't quite make it to school. <laughs> Judaism, though, was central to her life, and she instilled that love in her, in her family. Um, and that was clear in a lot of the things that, that, that I read, especially the 80 points that uh, your, your brother had. She was a rabid Steeler fan. <laughs> <laughs> That's another story. She was She was a rabbit stealer. Fan. <laughs> the great story of she didn't do well with the first two games this year. <laughs> she um, and I think she would appreciate, you know, that as we said, it should be a celebration of her life. And she'd tell me what a wonderful sense of humor that she had. I'm sure, we would have gotten along. Look forward to the funny cards Jeff would send. She um, always put her family and friends first. I think he told me she was director of the volunteers at Montefiore. Yeah. Um, very selfless person. She started the walkathon tradition, creating the first for the March of Dimes. Always interested in her family and working, working for ways to bring them together. You have such wonderful memories of the huge family gatherings. Um, and I'm sure she will still be there with you. And your family should continue to get together. That's a good tradition. As we said before, in terms of her loving to make dessert, she loved her sweet treats. Cappuccino, chocolate-covered peanuts. If I, if I had known earlier, I could have brought some. Um, you always had to hide the candy. Her, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the candy like you hit the cookies in the box right home. <laughs> Along with the potato chips, her one true indulgence. You mentioned that she had a uh, uncharacteristic fear of elevators. Absolutely, there too. Uh, God forbid if you had to go up in the building, you had to talk to her for 20 minutes. And then she'd get in the door and I'd say, there's other people getting in. <laughs> got to the floor, she couldn't get out fast enough. But yet she, it appears like with everything else, she was fearless. Probably. It was just elevators. Uh, noted, too, how she collected menorahs, kind of peyote, and candlesticks because she brought light, you know, as you said. She was a light unto others. Um, and, and that's just so beautiful. You mentioned, we mentioned before about Skippy. I said, where did the name Skippy come from? And you told me that at the age of, I think it was 14, she went to like a youth convention? BBG. BBG. And uh, I guess her friends, of all the trouble you can get into at these conventions, this is the least of them. Friends getting together to decide they wanted new names. <laughs> I'd be interested to hear what the other names were for the other people. Mickey. Mickey. Elkie. Elkie. And Skippy. <laughs> And she came home, and uh, in Jewish tradition, she told her parents, my new name is Skippy. <laughs> and it lasted a long time. <laughs> Skippy, in fact, I don't even know what her regular name is. Here. Serena, Serena, June. Serena, June. Serena June. I just want to share uh, another comment, and the family wants to share a few things as well. You okay? Yeah. yeah. Sure? Right. Um, you mentioned she was, well, we talked about Skippy, but she was known by many names to her family. And uh, she was mom to her children, Graham, Gimme Skippy, to her, to her grandchildren, <clears throat> Aunt Skip to her nieces and nephews, Skippy to her friends and relatives, and Skipper, Sirietta, and Sirietta June to her devoted husband of 64 years, Sam. <laughs> June. Now we get her there. <laughs> 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 
You know, this is great. This is like, uh, you're like Russian. It's like the famous Torah commentator. I give the, uh, the, the Torah, you know, the, 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 the text, and then he gives the interpretation of the text. I'm going to hire you, okay? You'll come in. And not this week. Well, not this week. I do want to call on, I think her children wanted to come forward to share some thoughts also. So since our uh, youngest uh, brother, uh, Jack, was in Israel, and he was fortunate enough to come visit uh, with her mother uh, last week, uh, but uh, talking about mitzvahs, he, uh, his son is made of our mitzvah uh, Sunday in Israel, so uh, lots going on with uh, he and his family. But uh, my mother turned 80, her mother turned 80 uh, a few years ago, and on the uh, trip to uh, in Israel, he decided to, uh, 80 reasons I'm grateful that you're my mom. I'm preparing to travel from Israel to Pittsburgh. For my mom's 80th birthday, I wondered to myself, what would be the perfect birthday present? By this time in her life, she probably, probably already has, has plenty of souvenirs from Israel and a new family portrait that doesn't seem like enough. I recall what the 13th century book was safer, <coughs> not Chinook, the book of education, an explanation of all of Judaism's commandments, wrote about honoring one's parents. Appreciation is the key. By appreciating what our parents do for us, we will feel a deep sense of gratitude, become overcome with the desire to reciprocate to them. Taking it a step further, the author explains that by appreciating our parents, we will eventually gain an appreciation for <coughs> and the desire to serve our ultimate Father in heaven. I also remember the teachings of Rabbi Noah Weinberg, the blessed memory, the founder of Asia Torah, who taught that the way to happiness is to have gratitude for the blessings in our life. I've got it, I told my wife. I'm going to give my mom a list of 80 reasons I'm glad she's my mom. What a perfect 80th birthday present. To be honest, there were some dry spells as the list grew. But the process of trying to replay my life through what my mom's done for me was incredibly meaningful. By the end, I was wishing I was going to make a longer list. Even though she had great pleasure sharing the list with my family and friends, there's no doubt that I got more out of it than she did. Try doing the same with the important people in your life. Sharon, spouse, best friend, I guarantee your appreciation and relationship will change for the better. Thanks, Bob. For all you've done, you can see this. So with that said, my bro our brother is 10 years younger, and he was affectionately known as Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is my older brother. <laughs> and, and Jack continues, you carried me for nine months, you went through the pains of giving birth to me, you entered me into the covenant of Abraham, 